All right. Hello, boys and girls. Um, it's Miss Oss again. Um, I wanted to give you a little um, example of some things that you could find for lesson two and then maybe show you um, how I would approach that lesson. So they asked just to find some things that you might have laying around the house. I know it's a great time right now to maybe go through some stuff and um, see what you use and don't use. Um, so I have these in my kitchen drawer, some little twisty ties that we save and they're always good some um, clothespins and some paper clips. I don't know if I'll use them, but I kind of gathered them up. Um, these were bendy. Some double-sided tape. Um, I also do have some glue, some string, um, shoelace uh, from packages. I have some bubble wrap that I've saved and some tissue paper that I also received in a package, but uh, I usually save. And I know we probably all have some empty toilet paper rolls. Um, so those are great too if you are trying to think of some objects. Um, and I'm sure that you have a ton of other objects that you could use or materials that you would recycle. Um, oh yeah, and I have this pizza box too. Um, and cereal boxes um, for this next project, lesson two for Hi, our um, third, fourth, and um, fifth graders. Um, this is the printed lesson um, for lesson two in art, and um, I already went. I already did a video um, about the supplies that you could um, possibly use for this, um, but it's basically going to be you know, what can you make out of things that you can find around the house that maybe you don't need anymore um, or things that you are recycling. Um, this was for third grade, but I thought it would be kind of cool for everybody um, just kind of finding these different materials. Um, but each grade level has a different thing you could do. Like for third grade, it was, you know, one colorful material, a material that bends. That's why I had that twisty tie in, in, um, some of the things you could use um, and some other things. Fourth grade has find eight things that you could use um, to make some art. Um, fifth grade has just going on a hunt for some different materials and then you're supposed to play around and make something. So I wanted to use a paper plate um, and some of this tissue paper that I had laying around um, my house. I actually cut them into um, squares and I'm going to be poking holes with my pen um, into this plate and using it to um, tuck the tissue paper into a little hole. So um, I'm going to show you my process. and fifth graders um, so this was my um, idea and I was um, using this tissue paper cut up and poking it with a pen first and then sticking it through with a q-tip that I cut off um, just and then pulling it through in the back a little bit um, just because I know some of you might not have glue or tape um, if you had glue and you're interested in doing something like this um, you can also you know use something um, wrap the tissue paper around. It could be a Q-tip, a pen, tip, whatever. Put a dot of glue on your um, paper and then stick it down like that. Um, originally, I thought this was, uh, I wanted it to be a face, although it kind of looks like the Grinch, like eyes and a mouth and then the green. Um, but it also reminds me of um, flowers, like a water lilies. So I might take a blue marker and maybe um, I could color in the edge. Um, it also reminds me of a, a salad. So flowers, a salad. My original idea was um, a face, a smiley face, um, although it looks more like a monster. So there you go. It just goes to show you that art can, can look and um, be many different things. And I could maybe find something to um, hang this up on the wall with. So I can't wait to see your projects. Um, 
Good luck and email me if you have any questions. All right. Bye-bye. Have fun.